Hey, what's going on you guys and welcome to another Emblem Lori review vlog. Today's video I actually got a couple things uh, special for you guys. Uh, first, I got my uh, video game monthly box in the mail today, as well as my final package with uh, Goodwill. So I finally got that in the mail, as well as some games I got from GameStop. So, not bad. I mean, a couple different packages. Um, so I'm going to be going over all that stuff. Um, but yeah, and then tomorrow's vlog, uh, just giving you guys a heads up, will actually be a special one. It'll actually be me, uh, going to pick up the PlayStation Classic, which I'm not looking forward to, as well as Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which I'm super excited for. So, yeah, let's get right into it, and we'll go from there. Um, so I'll actually go with the Shop Goodwill first, you guys, um, just because, you know, it's the one package that I've been excited for to add to my collection. Um... Yeah, I mean, if you guys have watched my vlogs, I know I've been going on for a pa uh, for the past couple weeks about the reasons why I'm going off Goodwill. I might go back, um, depending on how everything goes, it's just I need to take a break from it. So, I'll be focusing mostly on game stores and eBay and everything like that now for uh, to get my uh, N64 collection. So, yeah. So what I got in the mail today, you uh, got from Goodwill, was actually a box of Illusion of the Gaia. Uh, Illusion of Gaia. It's just a box, doesn't have the manual, so it's not complete, um, which sucks because now I have to be on the lookout for a manual. But I don't see these at all. Like I can find it on eBay and everything like that, complete. But people are usually asking like sixty to seventy dollars. I got this for ten dollars. That's with the shipping and handling. So. $10 for a box, and I think the box goes for about $20, so not bad. I was really happy to end it on a good note with Goodwill. And to be able to add this to my collection is pretty cool. It's a little damaged. It's got wear and tear on it, and it's got a sticker for $29.95 at the bottom. But, you know, it's okay. I like it, and I'm happy to be able to add this. So the next thing is I'm actually going to go over my GameStop uh, package. So it's a bunch of N64 games. And just give you guys a heads up now because... Uh, after filming the first part of my Game Hunters episode, um, my most recent part, um, I actually am now one game away from hitting halfway for the N64, so these, this package right here will actually put me past the halfway mark, so I'm super excited, um, so what I'm planning on is buying all the rest of the games that I need that I'm able to get off of GameStop get that and then um, GameStop doesn't have everything so I won't be able to get the complete collection so I'll have to use eBay and uh, yeah I'll have to be able to use eBay and stuff like that just to be able to do uh, get the rest so hopefully that'll work out soon but yeah I think there is nine games all in all together, so it'll be a little bit. Put that right there for right now. Alright, so the first one, first game out of the nine, if I can get this open, is gonna be F Zero X. And surprisingly, it's got a really good uh, label on the front and back. Cartridge is in good shape, so that's super awesome. So, believe it or not, this will, because this is the first one I opened, this is actually going to be the game that puts me halfway. I am now at 148 games for the N64, so I am now officially halfway there. I'm so freaking excited to be... I, I wish I was closer. Um, I've been working on it for about seven months, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I haven't been hitting... I haven't been focusing a lot on the N64, like, going super hard on it except for the past couple months since like August and now we're coming in December so I'm hoping to be done like I said by before uh, PRGE next year which at this rate I should be um, especially with how many games I'm going to be picking up getting again in the mail uh, in the next couple weeks um, next one is going to be Blues Brothers 2000 both games I have not most of these games I have not played you guys um, except for this one and that is going to be Resident Evil 2 for the 64. Super fun game, never tried it on the 64, so I'll play that and see how that goes, especially with Resident Evil 2 Remake coming out uh, next month, which I'm super excited for. Next game we got in the mail was Mario Tennis. Man, most of these have got really good labels on it. Holy cow. 
another fun sports game, Mario title, so finally able to add that to my collection. Kirby, the Crystal Shards for it. So a lot of these are actually pretty big, like pretty common titles that, you know, everyone pretty much has already in their N64 collection. I've had the chance to get these, I just never really had the money or, I, you know, they didn't really pique my interest at the time. But now I finally got these, I got these cheaper um, at GameStop. It was buy two, get one free, so I took advantage of that. And I've been noticing I've been doing that a lot, especially when they get the buy two, get one free. Um, yeah, I got uh, Tonic Trouble for the next one. Almost done with this, almost done with this box. This one I'm actually super excited to play. Um, Batman Beyond the Return of the Joker. Love the series, love the show, love Batman in general, so I'm ex actually pretty excited to play that game on the 64. An end to an era for a series, Bomberman 64. I already have Bomberman Hero, I have Bomberman Heroes, uh, Bomber Bomberman 64, the second attack. Now I have the original, bom the first Bomberman. So, finally, super excited to be able to add this and put an end to the Bomberman collection on the 64. Super excited. And then the last game, you guys, is going to be Flying Dragon for the 64. I'm super excited to try this one out, too. I haven't seen that much reviews on it so maybe i might do one i haven't decided if i want to do reviews on retro games yet um so yeah that'll be it for those ones now they go to one of the things that i've been excited for for the most my video game monthly and what's funny you guys is actually um i'm a little worried about this package because simple fact i actually forgot to update my list I actually forgot to update all my games, all my N64 games, all my NES and Super Nintendo, and especially my recent Game Hunters video. You know, I, I bought a lot of uh, I bought a lot of games, and I did not update my list whatsoever with uh, Video Game Monthly. So I'm gonna have to do that later tonight uh, before I go to work. So I'm expecting doubles. I'm expecting doubles if I get, especially the 64. If I get 64 games and I get doubles, you know. It's good trade bait because 64 is still a hot title uh, console to be collecting for. Man, they really do package these really well. Alright, so if you guys haven't watched my last uh, video game monthly, it's a subscription. I pay $42 a month, that's including shipping and handling. Um, I paid for the four game package, so last time on my first video when I got my first package, I actually got five games with put, which put me over um, the mark, so I barely got over it, so I actually, you know, didn't spend a lot, I didn't waste any money on it, but let's see how this goes for this one. Feels heavy today too, so who knows what I got in the mail. And so, advertisement. Um, Posted on their page, you get free game. Uh, you have a chance to get three free games. Um, subscription. Thank you for your sir. Uh, thank you for doing that. Um, so they actually put some stuff in here too. Um, to you know, like some weird stuff. I got a magnet this time. I think the last time I got a pen. So that's pretty cool. Um, next, I actually got a one up. So I will be receiving another game on here. Um, so yeah, let's go into it. The first game I got was Wave Race 64. I do have this one. I'm not surprised. Um, next one's going to be Super Nintendo. It's going to be Super Caesar's Palace for the Super Nintendo. I think it's like a $3 game. And this one's like $7, so I'm at 10 maybe right now, if that. And the last three are going to be NES games. RC Pro Jam, Spy Hunter, Skate or Die. All titles that I have. The only game I didn't have was Caesar's Palace. A casino game. And going by the math and everything, these are like $5 games. So, yeah, I didn't make money off this one. That's a bummer, but I mean, it is what it is. It's my own fault. I didn't update my list. I haven't gone through it. I totally spaced it until the payment came through. Um, so yeah, now I'll actually have to update my list 
But, you know, I mean, it happens. You're not going to get, you're not going to make your money back every single time. Uh, the first time I got it, you know, that was awesome. I still got a, this is my second one up in a row, so that's pretty awesome. But, you know, it happens, so it's all right. I mean, nothing I can really say I can happily add it to my collection because I already have most of this, but it's all right. So, yeah, that is actually going to be all the packages and everything. Um... So yeah, it's not going to be that very long. It's probably going to be about a 10-minute vlog. I'm actually going to be filming and editing my next review uh, today and tomorrow. And then i got a bunch of reviews I'm going to be trying to get started at least uh, on Saturday when it's my day off. So yeah, uh, thank you guys so much. Please be sure um, to drop a like, drop a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, thank you guys all so much for my YouTube support, um, Instagram, Facebook, everything like that. I really do appreciate you guys. Um, Please share, you know, if you know anyone that would like to watch my channel, let them know, send them the link, anything like that. Um, so yeah, I just want to say thank you guys, and I hope everyone has a great day, and I'll see you all again later. Bye.